Hello everybody and welcome back to Zombie Army 4. I apologize that I haven't put up a video in a long time, but I'm back for now. And I've recently had a request to complete my Brutal Nightmare Guide for Zombie Zoo. Now when I first attempted this guide, I had a plan in mind that didn't really work out. And over the course of three videos, my loadout had changed, some of the tactics had changed. And I felt continuing the guide would just be confusing. So I'm going to make a second attempt at this guide. And hopefully this one turns out better for you all. Now if that's out of the way from the menu. We're going to go to the campaign. Select mission. And you can see that we're on Zombie Zoo. Chapter 1 on Brutal Nightmare Difficulty. And my loadout is going to be the uh, Big Joe crossbow in the primary slot. You can see the skill tree from here. Uh, I highly recommend running the triple shot bolt mod because this is going to be the crowd control weapon for the run. The uh, secondary slot is going to be the Sten Mark II. But you can use the grease gun if you really want to. The key here is having super headshot rounds. Uh, this gun's going to be dealing with the heavies. And the uh, Webley is going to be taking up the pistol slot. And you can just get a quick glance at the uh, skill tree in my setup here. My melee is uh, always going to be Divine Blast to uh, knock zombies back and get extra healing. And the perks I'm currently running with are Second Chance, Hardened, Stamina Defense, and Survivor. This one was a key one that I've uh, changed from my previous run because I found that when you pick yourself up with a second chance you're going to instantly get knocked down so I added this in here to add some extra survivability and enhance stamina because it kind of works well with stamina defense. Now something I don't talk about a lot are item mods and the uh, key items we want to look at right here is the bait grenade and you want to have uh, mod B danger zone selected that's going to come into play towards the end of the chapter with the uh, blood fountain area and the uh, artillery flare you also want mod B the focus strike and that's going to help out uh, huge with the uh, blood fountain area also you can pick whatever character you uh, want I'm currently running Warner because the uh, he gets increased healing from the divine puddles that we're going to get from the big joe crossbow and he'll get increased uh divine damage from uh the, those puddles and divine grenades all right now that the uh setup is out of the way uh let's get into the game and start the guide all right we're going to start this off the same way as before by opening the special item crate on the right and we're going to put the explosive weapon attachment on the crossbow. Then you're going to want to open this crate and put that explosive attachment on the web lead. I also like to toggle out of the scope for the crossbow to maintain maximum visualization of my surroundings as we move through this area. Inside the safe room, you're going to want to open this crate and be sure to grab a med kit before dropping down. From here I like to open up the two item crates at the start to uh, get a couple grenades just in case I need them. And then we're going to push forward to trigger the dialogue and start the enraged spawning in. Now that the uh, enraged has spawned in, go ahead and uh, start engaging them with the uh, crossbow. And the uh, way we're going to deal with this area is we're going to run kind of a uh, circle strategy, at least until the uh, explosive attachment has expired on the crossbow. I typically like to start off running counterclockwise, hitting as many groups of zombies as I can, especially the ones that are grouped up climbing over the sandbags. And I also like to get rid of some of these explosive barrels as I run the circle just so they don't accidentally get blown up and kill me running by. 
I will, however, drag a few zombies next to them before I blow them up. Just to try to get some kind of value out of them. Now that the uh, explosive attachment has expired, I sometimes like to uh, stay in this location here between the car and the uh, hill, using this narrow space as a uh, fatal funnel for the enraged and the uh, other zombies on the field. That way I keep them grouped up and coming toward me in a direction of my choosing. However, if you do get overrun, you can always drop off to the ledge to the right and continue running the circle till you get back to this position. From here you just want to keep killing the zombies until the next set of zombies uh, spawn in which are going to be uh, three snipers and a uh, heavy gunner. Here we got the audio cue for the snipers and I like to pull out the Webley and prioritize the snipers first before dealing with the gunner. I apologize for the uh, poor accuracy here. This is not my best run I've ever done on the zombie zoo, but this is the run that got it done. Now we've got two snipers down. We're just waiting to get the third and final sniper gone. And now that he is dead, we can pull out the Sten and go deal with that heavy gunner. Once that heavy gunner is gone, what you want to do now is just keep killing these uh, regular zombies until you uh, get the uh, next set of gunners. We're going to actually get two more gunners for a total of three. And if you wonder where they come from, I'm going to show you right now. They actually spawn in up top where we started this chapter. They come down this walkway and drop down near the doorway that we entered this area from. Now that the uh, gunner's on ground level, go ahead and get out your stin and deal with him. And you can see how fast they go down with super headshot rounds, even from range. Right now, I'm just continuing killing zombies while I wait for the uh, third and final gunner to spawn in. And here he is coming down the walkway now. And he's dropped down to the ground. So now I can hop off this ledge and go deal with him. And here I see a glitch zombie walking in midair. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that. So that kind of shocked me a little bit. Now th that third and final gunner is finally dealt with. We just keep killing the uh, regular zombies until we get the uh, third and final set of zombies spawning in. Which is going to be four necromancers, two commanders, three butchers, and you guessed it, a ton more enraged. Here I'm moving back to my spot just to try to keep them grouped up and moving towards me in a place I can control while I wait for that third set to come in. I kind of hesitate about dropping that Divine Bolt because it would be useful when the uh, Necromancers and Commanders spawn in to deal with the Enraged, but I didn't really have a choice. I had to kill the uh, large group just to get them to spawn in and keep the momentum going. Now that the Necromancers have spawned in, go ahead and pull out the Webley and try to get heart shots. And you also want to get rid of their uh, corpses because the uh, Live necromancers on the field will resurrect the uh, necromancers you kill. And you don't want that happening because the officer's pistols are kind of overpowered. And if you've got so much as a shred of health missing, they can actually double tap you into a second chance. And you don't want that happening at this point in time. They were just moving in a circle. We got necromancer number three down with a lucky shot. 
and I'm moving to try to deal with the uh, fourth necromancer and possibly the commander since he's there. You do want to keep uh, visually your surroundings. I almost got killed by a butcher, but we managed to come out of it clean and I'm going to toss a couple grenades to uh, distract the zombies as we uh, make a second pass at the officers. Here we've managed to get one commander and the uh, fourth necromancer, so you don't have to worry about getting rid of the corpses. There's nothing uh, left on the field that can resurrect anything. So now we just want to focus on uh, moving in a circle to wait for an opportunity to get rid of our butchers and possibly find the uh, last commander that's still summoning an enraged on the field. Here I'm just moving in a circle. I'm trying to locate that fourth and final commander now. And I kind of get a glimpse of where he's at right there. But I don't have an angle on him yet. So we're just going to keep moving in the circle. I'm going to come back to my spot, drop a divine bolt to deal with the enraged. And try to get rid of this uh, group. And here I had an opportunity to get rid of that third and final butcher. So I took it right there. Also, be sure to use your takedowns as they help get you ammo back and health. And now I finally locate where the uh, last commander is. And he's kind of put himself in a uh, nice little crevice there. He's kind of, he's really hard to hit with the uh, Webley. So, and I've never actually seen him move in that spot before. So here I'm just kind of moving in a circle. That way I can deal with the enraged and figure out how I'm actually going to tackle him while he's in that spot. I'm making an attempt here, but there's too many zombies in that crevice and I didn't have a clean heart shot on him, so I'm going to drop a shock bolt to deal with the enraged and keep moving in a uh, more of a clockwise fashion. Going back to my spot until I figure out how I actually want to deal with him. And the way you want to deal with him here is we're just going to kill enough of these enraged to get a takedown and once we've got them grouped up and most of the zombies cleared out of that tight spot we'll eventually move forward and rip his heart out with a takedown so here's my first opportunity everything's mostly cleared out and we're going to take him down not that commander's down, all we really have to deal with are the remaining enraged zombies and uh, regular zombies to finish out this chapter. So here I am back in my spot, uh, dropping the divine bolt, dealing with the enraged, and using this uh, narrow passage as a fatal funnel for the remainder of the zombies. Now that things have calmed down a bit, you, I don't see any more enraged. I actually saw I got a divine bolt, and I want to save it so I can do some healing once the rest of these zombies are gone. So I go ahead and pull out the stain. I figure I'm going to finish out the final remaining zombies. 
with uh, headshots just to uh, finish out the section. Now if the uh, final zombie is uh, dead, you want to drop a divine bolt and make sure you're at full health before moving on to the next area. We're also going to uh, be uh, stomping the corpses of some of these gun zombies to get full on ammo. We also want to make sure everything's uh, reloaded. I don't know, for some reason on uh, secondary weapons in this game, uh, sometimes the, the reload animation doesn't go through and I actually have to reload a second time, which is kind of weird, but it happens sometimes, I guess. Here I'm just checking this item crate to see what kind of grenade sits in it, and I don't really want a shot grenade. So I'm going to move forward and stomp on the... Uh, corpses of the uh, gunners and the butchers to try to get some regular frag grenades. Now I was able to get three regular frag grenades but as I uh, stomped the corpse of this gunner I think his grenade actually fell through the uh, ground and uh, I wasn't able to get it so I decided I might as well go ahead and grab that shot grenade anyway just to have uh, full grenades on hand for the next area I also want to equip it so it's the first one out of my inventory now what you want to do is you want to grab the uh, heavy machine gun so we can start setting up for the uh, second section so you grab the first machine gun and you want to run it forward all the way to this uh, concrete barrier here and drop it on the ground. You don't really want to move much further forward than this otherwise you'll trigger a fog wall and start the uh, zombies spawning in for the second area. You want to be able to run back and grab the other two machine guns. So now we've got the second one we're going to run it forward and drop it right next to the uh, first one on the ground. Now you want to run back and grab the uh, third machine gun. And that completes the setup for what you're going to need to enter into the second area. This is also a uh, good spot to uh, cut the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in part two.